Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the watchlist product removal process. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, we are currently on the watchlist page of our eShop. Currently, there are several products in it like this. To demonstrate the removal process, I am going to remove this from the watchlist page. So to do that, we can use this remove button here. So now I am clicking on it like this. As you can see, suddenly that product was disappeared from our watchlist. So that's all about it. Let's get into our code inside of things. So now I'm going to Visual Studio Code as you can see. We are currently viewing the watchlist.php file. As usual, to keep this page running in the state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags, I'm linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrap icons.css, then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of these body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Alright, let's get into our main focus removal process. From this remove button, I am calling a JavaScript function named remove from watchlist. I am also passing the ID of the product that we are removing with it. Alright, let's see our script.js file. You can see our JS function remove from watchlist here like this. I'm also grabbing the passed ID from here like this. Then I'm creating a new XML HTTP request from here like this. We are creating this to request from process of removing from watchlist.php side. This on ready state change is here to figure out the current state of our request. If ready state is equal to for and process of removing from watchlist.php side is giving a response as removed, these codes are reloading our page. When it is giving a response text other than removed, these codes are alerting that. Then from here we are sending our request to process of removing from watchlist.php side using the get method like this. And we are sending the product id combined with it too like this. Ok, now let's see our process of removing from watchlist.php file. First, from top of this PHP script, I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these codes are checking out whether a product ID is coming using the get method or not. If that is coming, these codes are keeping that like this. If ID wasn't coming somehow, these codes are giving a response as please select a product. Then the search query here is searching our watchlist relation for the product with that ID. If it wasn't in the relation, this is giving a response as something went wrong, please try again. If it was in watchlist relation, this query is inserting user email and product ID to recent relation. After that, this query is deleting that product ID from watchlist relation. If every process was completed successfully, these codes are giving a response as removed. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.